guys, what is up and welcome to Day to Day with Ray, with me, your girl Ray Ray. So today we are making Irish Car Bomb Cupcakes for the St. Patrick's Day Festival, which will be tomorrow, but I don't know when that will be when you watch this video. But um, tomorrow is Sunday, March 17th, 2019. And um, yeah, so we're gonna make Irish Car Bomb Cupcakes. Now, I am going into the, in the description box below, I will list the recipe that I'm, ma I'm doing, which will be a box cake mix because I did actually really wanna make a scratch cake, but I didn't have all the ingredients and I need new flour at the last minute. So I said, okay, I got everything for box, let's get it done. So um, I'm gonna go through, let's get this rolling, and yeah, let's get these cupcakes underway all right so let's get started i am using a devil's food cake mix like i said i really wanted to make a scratch mix but i couldn't but i will include both recipes down in the description box so i'm sieving um sifting whatever you want to call it my cake mix i always do i'm using a half a cup of vegetable oil I normally add um, butter, but I didn't know if I would have enough. Now I'm adding one and a quarter cup of Guinness beer. Um, I'm not much of a beer drinker. Um, it's funny though too, because when I was making um, the cake batter, like all I could smell was the Guinness. Um, but you don't really taste it in the cupcake. You just get like hints of it. Um, so here I am mixing it, making sure there's no lumps, making sure I have a nice smooth cake batter um just really working it and scraping the sides and stuff now we're going to add four eggs you see my four sign here's the first egg and it's funny because as i'm mixing and as i add in the eggs you can really see how there's a second egg um how the cake batter changes like if you really really watched i'm sitting here watching it as i'm talking there goes the third egg. You can just see the consistency of it change and get thicker and more velvety and more smoother. And there's the final egg. Um, but it's crazy how the texture changes. So after I add the eggs and I mix it up, you see how like, look how silky smooth that is. Didn't use a blender, nothing. I used my hand and I feel like that's really because of the sifting. So now I'm using my instant um, pudding mix. Now I have learned another tip that doing adding your pudding mix in last is best um, and do it half a box at a time. Again, now look at the texture. Look how thick this mixture is. Like I am really, really working that mixture in. Like I am mixing that pudding in there. The cake mix gets so um, thick and just so luscious. Like it's so crazy. Um, so I'm mixing it and just making sure everything's all incorporated. Look how thick it is. Like it is really thick. I'm really working my arm in there. So, and I already have the oven preheated to 325. And as you'll see, I have this big, huge cupcake tin is a lifesaver. I love this thing. I have some red and gold and, um, or oh, some red, not red, some green and gold cupcake liners. Um, I'm not a big fan of the paper liners, but if you do use them, my suggestion is definitely double them up, especially if you're using a chocolate cake mix because it's darker and it will bleed through and then your patterns will be gone, especially if you're using a really light cupcake liner. I personally prefer all foil liners. Two scoops in each um, cup thing, cupcake tin, again, 325, and I set my timer for 15 minutes that's all you need and away we go so as the cupcakes are baking i'm making my jameson ganache i wish i had a better ca camera angle now i took a quarter of a cup out of chocolate chips um the recipe said eight ounces so i figured that would be enough and i'm pouring two-thirds cup of heavy whipping cream and now I'm going to stick it in the um, microwave and heat it up. Oh, it was hot. So I um, just heated it up and then now pour it over your chocolate chips. And I poured it really, really slow, nice and, you know, nice and slow and steady. Now, as um, the 
the cupcake the not the cupcakes well the cupcakes finished as the ganache was sitting so um i'm mixing the ganache and a lot of people they get worried when they make ganache because it doesn't come together right away and they're like oh my god what did i do i probably could have used a whisk or a spoon i don't know why i was using a spatula i just think because it was there um, again, I apologize that half of the screen is my cooking utensils, my bad. Um, but yeah, so I'm mixing the ganache and, uh, it starts to come together as you see. Now I wanted like a thinner ganache, um, plus that's why I took a little extra chocolate chips out. I did want a thinner one because it is going to be like a filling, but I pers personally prefer, um, a thinner ganache for these. Um, now you're going to put two tablespoons of Jameson whiskey in the ganache. This also changes the consistency, um, or two teaspoons. I'm sorry. Did I say tablespoons? I can't remember. So you're going to add two teaspoons of Jameson whiskey into your ganache and just whisk it in there make sure it's all incorporated continuously. Um, scrape off the bottom, whisk it up. Well, I'm not using a whisk, but mix it up. And then if you want, every good cook should take a little test taste. And I do believe that I do so it's right there. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Give it a thumbs up. So now I'm taking some plastic wrap. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to put it in the fridge for it to chill. Just like that. Bam. Now, now that the cupcakes has had some time to um, cool off, I'm taking actually that's a melon baller and I'm making wells inside of the cupcakes and you don't have to use a melon ball or if you don't have one, you can just cut it out. I just said, you know what? I have one, I'm gonna do it. So um, that's basically what I'm doing here. And I did the whole tray and put the toss back on then I put them in the freezer. So now we're moving on to the Bailey's Irish Cream Buttercream. Um, I put in three sticks of butter, you can't really say. And I was like, okay, let me move this. Um, and now I'm adding uh, probably about a half a cup, not a half a cup, uh, probably about a stick of um, Crisco or a stick of butter's worth of Crisco. And um, I do that because it's the cheap butter or margarine stick. So I always add Crisco just to make sure it has that stability and it can get thicker. Um, I also, when I mix my butter and stuff, I set a timer for seven minutes um, and of course here I am scraping down the um, sides of the bowls and everything really getting down in there um, but I always do I set a timer for seven minutes and um, and let it uh, whisk now it's time to start adding the sugar I believe um, Oh, scraping down the sides again. I hate scraping the sides of, of a stand mixer because I feel like it's so messy. Like, you always, like, miss a spot or something, and it's just, I don't know. I hate scraping the sides of the bowl. I just feel like that's, like, one of the messiest parts. So now I'm going to start adding in my powdered sugar. I'm going to use what I have left in my open bag. Um, one thing that I do is um, if I have an open bag... Or if you can tell it's a stale bag of sugar, I always sift it. Um, and I know they say you should always sift your powdered sugar, but um, I don't always sift it. If it's a new bag, like you can feel, to me, I don't know, I could just be crazy. I feel that you can feel how fresh sugar is. If there's no hole in your bag of powdered sugar, then you pretty much have a good bag of powdered sugar. So, um, here I am, I'm just sifting it, um, and I'm using the old powdered sugar. I will open a new bag, but I just pour that right in, um, the new bag. You'll see me do that in a second, but <clears throat> I put a good amount in. So here I go, turn it on, of course, nice and slow, let it mix. It looks kind of rough, like, oh my God, you know, da, 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 da. It kind of looks like clumpy and curdly and all that other stuff. But then you start cranking it up and it smooths right out. Look how beautiful that is. So now I'm going to start adding the Bailey's Irish cream. Now, this recipe calls for five tablespoons. 
and I start adding it in. Now, if you want more, if you want more of a um, Irish taste, once your buttercream is mixed, you can do small batches and add it in. Um, so there's my first two, and I'm just gonna let that incorporate in and mix up really, really good. Um, and then I'll start adding uh, sugar. I think I add more sugar here, yeah. So I slowly add, this is the fresh bag. Um, it's The bag was like very soft and pillowy and fluffy, but I just keep adding um, sugar in and now I'm adding more of the Bailey's Irish cream. I think, I don't know if that was three or four. Um, Cause you, like I said, you need five. So just keep mixing them in, mix your sugar in. Now, the recipe doesn't call for vanilla, so I did not add vanilla. I think you might need some, and but look how thick it came out. Like I said, I just kept adding the sugar. So now I'm just filling up these piping bags. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, you get what you pay for. These bags were super cheap. Um, these weren't from Wish, but I did actually order these silicone piping bags and I'm I really like them so now I took the ganache out of the fridge I'm just mixing it up and I'm now pouring some of it into a piping bag I have my buttercream in a piping bag you know me guys I really like my fondant but some things I just do with frosting but I will make some fondant um, decorations soon um, so I took my little tray of cupcakes out of the freezer and now I'm taking the tops off but I like kind of lined them up there was off camera so you couldn't see um, so I knew which top went to what cupcake so now I'm just filling the holes up and I also something else that I did that I did not record was I pushed down with a spoon down further into the cupcake for the ganache to go down deeper um, so I did do that. So I filled all the holes up with the ganache. And then I just put all the little cupcake tops right back on. Like I said, off the camera, you couldn't see, but I had them all lined up. Um, so that I knew which top or which piece went to which cupcake. So I just stuck them all back on top. Ta-da! And now I'm just going to pipe. I didn't put a tip or nothing in because these piping bags, like I said, sucked. So I'm just doing a little swirl. Just swirling it in. Just something basic. I didn't feel like getting too fancy, to be honest. <laughs> so I'm just swirling. Just doing some basic swirls. And um, I did add with these. I did put some in a bowl. And or with this batch of the buttercream and put a little bit more Bailey's Irish cream in it um, I think what I might do is if I when I use this buttercream again I might add some uh, more I had to refill my piping bag here um, I think I might add some more I might add some vanilla to it and then I'm just kind of going back over to see like who might need a couple more little swirly twirlies ta -da! so then i have these little green non pareils but it's funny because as a buttercream it kind of already started crusting over so they really weren't sticking which was fine but um they did stick to the cupcakes um here are the wilton shamrock sprinkles that i got from michael's these are only a dollar a bag they're super cute um i think i put two or three of them on each little cupcake and then those were the little gold coins with shamrocks in the middle. I just put one on top of each cupcake just to kind of like where the little um, like pointy tip was. I just kind of put them on top because I thought, well, I'll give you one gold little lucky coin. <laughs> so then I was thinking, I was like, eh, I, was like I don't know if I'm going to use this, but I ended up using it. And I started putting the gold like sanding sugar on it, but it wasn't sticking. So I was like, a little frustrated. So I was like, oh, let's put these little gold balls because what I had to go through to open this thing was ridiculous. Okay. So, um, yeah. So I was like, okay, let's um, just open this up and I'm going to put these little gold balls. And ta-da, they're all decorated. Super cute. 
So now I'm going to cut in. This was really hard to cut through the foil wrapper. I was like oh, frustrated. So here is the middle. All right, guys. Moment of truth. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. It's really, really good. The cupcake is super moist. I'm going to take this little thing off that. The cupcake super moist. There is no um, vanilla in the buttercream. I probably could add some. But if you do it in small batches, you can always just add it and mix it in. Or you can add um, more uh, Baileys if you wanted to. But you could definitely taste the Baileys. The cupcake now, please mind you, my um, sense of taste and sense of smell is a little fogged because I'm still sick. I still have a stuffed up nose. My ears are still still clogged. So, but um, from what I can taste, like I said you don't taste the Guinness. I don't taste the Guinness, and I'm not a beer person. Um, you taste the Jameson a little bit in the ganache, and like I said, you can taste the Bailey's, but it's not like it's not like burning like how you would drink normally drink it. Mm. It was really really good. Super moist, delicious. Now, of course you guys are watching. Oh, now I taste the Guinness. I just tasted the Guinness in that last bite. Now, of course, you guys are watching the fast forward um, version of it. Um, these took me kind of all day to bake. Um, just, you know, the baking and, you know, you have to let the ganache chill. Um, you have to let, um, you know, you gotta make your buttercream and all that. You, I put the cupcakes in the freezer to let them freeze. So you need to take all that into consideration. It's now four o'clock in the afternoon. I believe I started these at one. So yeah, just please keep in mind with that. I now have a ton of sprinkles that I have to clean up off my counter, um, but I hope you enjoyed this video and have a happy St. Patrick's Day and remember to be kind because you don't know what kind of battle someone's going through, so don't be a dick and uh, hope you have some luck of the Irish on this most wonderful day whenever you're watching this because if you watch my DNA, I'm Irish. <laughs> Alright guys, so mwah, have a most wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. The cats are now playing in their brown bag, so I'm out of here. Love you. Have a good one. Bye.